Hey nerds, I'm back. I've got the big daddy of the French heavy tank line. I've got the AMX 50B and I've got the legendary camo on it. So it's the AMX 50B veteran to be exact. Anyways, I got this tank. I love it. It's a million times better than the T57. It's great. <laughs> um, the major advantage is the 50 Bravo has over the T57 is the shorter time between shells and the two and a half seconds on this tank versus the 3.33 on the T57. The speed, uh, it can actually do the quick flanks that you need to do in an autoloader and it has enough speed that it can get them done in a timely manner. The premium rounds they both have 340 penetration, but the 50, 50 Bravo has a APCR instead of heat. And APCR is the far superior ammunition to heat. Anyways, we're waiting for targets to pop up. Got some lit. Trying to find some shots. I can't really see them because stuff's in the way. I take a shot. I shot high. Second one hit his upper plate, and then the third one goes into the side of his turret. So, uh, not a very successful first uh, drum of ammunition in my Amex 50B, because this is actually the very first game I played in it ever, but we only spotted two targets, and so you know they're going to flank. So I'm just getting ready, and then, oh god, the leopard's there. One, you don't know why he stopped. Two, and then he realizes that he needs to get away, and then T-62's there, and then, yeah, I, I kind of hit the railing on the bridge. God, I hate that. You can shoot through, like, concrete walls, but you can't shoot through little railing. God, it kills me. Anyways, that shot almost kills, almost ruins his match. Because, uh, I come very close to death. Anyways, T-62 wants some. We each trade a shot. I've got higher alpha damage, so I, damage, so I won. I get really greedy. I cop a couple from uh, his team, and then, there we go, bounced one, he damaged my gun, but now I've got this long reload, and I'm just a complete sitting duck, he missed that shell, him missing that also probably saved me from utter destruction this game, but right now, I'm just at his mercy, I'm a one shot now, uh, uh, he bounced, I put one into him. Now he's running away because he doesn't want any of this because he knows that I'm going to kill him if I shoot him first. <laughs> Although I also know if, that he's going to kill me if he shoots me first. But uh, like I said in my uh, AMX 5100 video, I am far too aggressive, sometimes for my own good. But look at these two damage rolls. 400 average. Boom, 471. That's almost maximum. That one's 442. Those are big old damage rolls for this gun. And I had a broken gun, a damaged gun, and I still hit him. This gun is, uh, is 0.31 accuracy with the layout I have uh, vents, and I have gun lane drive and a vertical stabilizer. So the gun handling is actually pretty darn good, also. So you can actually get your aim down to something uh, manageable in the two and a half seconds you have between shells. It's not going to be like perfectly accurate, but uh, accurate enough to do stuff like that. Anyways, don't have a third shot. I see him, but he popped off. Take a blind shot, but I, I assume he stopped. So it didn't hit him. But I'm still as one shotable as, as ever. So uh, I'm going to kind of park here. And uh, there we go. Team took care of that tank. Oh, I have an AFK uh, T30, by the way, so that's nice. Love having AFK people on my team. Wonderful. Tremendous, tremendous people. I love them. Anyways, being super cautious. And then I see the 4202, and he shot, so I put one into him, and he stopped. I guess he got stuck on something, so I finished him off. Not going to get a shot on him. 
But our IS-7 is about to get creamed. There he goes. I have one shot left. All I'm going to need is one shot to kill him. I'm going to fly over this bridge. Pop up behind him. And then he's going to die. He won't even see it coming. And then... Oh, what? The deuce? Yeah. And then... To talk all this good things about his amazing gun handling he had with the setup. And then I missed that shot. So, uh... RNG, right? I'm a one-shot... T-54, he wants a one-shot, and we have an AFK T-30. T-54 has one shell loaded. I'm reloading, or I guess I am loaded now. And uh, I don't want to go first because he's got a much better chance of surviving a shot from the 268 than I do. We're kind of just waiting here like, no, you go first. No, you go first. You go first. No, I insist. And uh, I'm just, I think I stopped to type like right here. I was like, dude, you gotta go. I can't do it. And then I'm going forward, and he's telling me that he's spotted. So that means he's got to be over here somewhere. I'm guessing back here. And I was right. And, oh, uh, that missed. Oh, oh, he missed. Oh, bounced. And third time's a charm. Boom. First game ever in the AMX 50 Bravo. And I ended up doing 4,900 damage with a 16.3k profit. That's pretty good. Um, I'd definitely be happy with that result in any tier 10. The uh, Amex 50 Bravo, I, uh, I've got 83% win rate. In 3,100 average damage, I think, still, last time I checked. So, uh, the first few dozen games I've played in it have definitely gone in my favor. There have been a few games that uh, I didn't even do a full drum's worth of damage because I've just been focused down. I got triple tapped by a 183 Jaeger and a the WT Panzer IV with the 150 before. That wasn't fun. That was not fun at all. Oh, man. There's another game we did like 5k damage in. But, uh, ended up losing because we had... Uh, just... Uh, new update teams. I'm going to leave it at that. Anyways, this match is the one that I've gotten the most kills so far in a single match. In the, uh, 50 Bravo... And uh, we've got, like, almost no medium tanks. So we're like, mm -mm, we got to go this way. Or at least I'm like that. I'm like, I don't want to go over there. They're going to kill us. So uh, going up, going to post up on the Yamato. And I see this little lip there on the ship. So I'm going to use it to hopefully hide my lower glacis and my side. But doesn't look like they're coming from over there. So I'm going to park here. And hopefully there's going to be some enemies stupid enough to go right through that opening. And now we wait. E5's lit. Don't have a shot because of the building. He is on top of the hill. God, if that building wasn't there, I just would have emptied my drum into him. But alas, it was not to be. He's lit again. He's still up there. Uh, now, there we go. Someone finally did damage to him. I'm trying to find a shot. It's not working. I see his gun. Not enough. Then, a bunch of enemies pop up on the left. 183 and I are like, oh crap. We gotta go this way now. So that's the way it is. And then you're gonna see just why I hate shooting at grills so much. There's one over there. I specifically have three drums full of HE. I'm not spotted. One, 499 damage. Two, barely misses. And then three, 180 something. With HE. With 120 millimeter. 500 average damage. Hit the gun. I really, really hate that about the girl. I was about you 100 the other day. And Shot HE directly at a grill. Hit him in the gun. Zero damage. 
hate this game sometimes. Anyways, focus. Okay, I am now loaded, and I'm going after this T fifty four E one one. Two, someone shoots him right there. Three. So there's a pretty nasty threat dealt with. That's uh, over a thousand damage per uh, drum that we don't have to worry about. But now we have a T-54 and the Grill, who were previously over there that I was shooting at before. Now they're over here. They want to play. Put one into the T-54. That one missed. Back up to... I didn't wish they didn't nerf the speed on this thing by 25% forwards and backwards. That kind of got me shot there. <laughs> on uh, World of Tanks PC, the Big Brother version of this, it goes 65 forwards and 20 backwards. Here it goes 50 forwards and then 15 backwards. So, you know, a, little, a bit slower. Makes a big difference. But... Here is what the T the AMX 50B and I believe only the AMX 50B can do. One and then two and a half seconds later, two kills and then have a shell left to damage the leopard. Pretty sure the AMX 50B is the only high tier tank in the game that's got that two and a half seconds. I think the 5120's got the 3.33 also. I'm not sure. It might have the 2.5 because it's the same gun. So, I don't know. Anyway, shoot the Leo. Ram him. I'm almost dead. It's very scary. My platoon mate saved my butt from that, uh, I think it was an IS-4 that shot me. But uh, I'm getting greedy here. So, uh, he bounced. Or uh, my track ate it, which almost never happens. But I still killed him anyways, so five kills. Woo! Not a whole lot of damage. You don't have to get very much damage to get an ace in this right now. 4K will for sure get you an ace. I've gotten a couple aces with 3.5 or 3.6, like that one. So if you do like three three drums worth of damage, you're probably going to get an ace. Because, uh, I mean, that's, what, 3,600 damage? So... Yeah, this tank is, in my opinion, way better than the T-57. Because, I mean, the hull's bouncy. Because it's like 170 millimeters and it's slowed back so much. And it's got that 250 millimeter pike on it, the beak. So you can ram things with ease. It's super fun. If you manage to shoot a medium three times and then ram at full speed, the medium's not going to be there anymore. <laughs> You guys got to try it sometime. Anyways, this is Vineyards? Yeah, I think so. Can't remember the name of this map. One of y'all is going to have to help me. I think it's Vineyards. Something like that. But I want my team to go to the right because I'm pretty sure the enemy is going to go town because they've got, you know, all that heavy armor. But you never know. Going to the right. And pop my speed boost. One of my favorite things about using the speed boost is you can hear the grunts and the engine really go when you pop it. Because you, you really hear the engine just like start to work a lot more. And I love that about the speed boost. It's one of the little tiny details in the game that just make the game awesome. Anyways, 42 or 2 spots me, so I stop. Because <laughs> I do not want to go anywhere when I am spotted. That is very bad for your health. Not spotted anymore. Moving up. And gonna park here. Gonna see if the 4202 decides to cross the front of the field. If so, I'll be ready for him. Doesn't look like he's gonna move. Feel like he's content where he is. Oh. Popped up on my right. 54 and there's their i7s and e3 so i was wrong they didn't take their heavy armor into the town and i take two very very ambitious shots at the e3 with the most minuscule area that i can penetrate available 
both my shots just happened to go a little bit to the right, hit something that was like 400 <laughs> millimeters of armor effective. It was, it was bad. I sh very ambitious shots. And cross this little street, and then the 4202's right there. Glad he wasn't paying attention or he had other things to worry about. So, I'm reloading, and I'm going to pump and dump. Oh, he's not even looking at me. He's looking at my platoon mate. One, two, and three. And pull back. And that's why I like this tank. <laughs> he's not even looking at me. He's like, screw you guys. I'm going home. Because my platoon mate in his E100, he's trying to get an ammo rack for a mission. And uh, he ran away from him. He ran into a 183, though, which is I think is hilarious. Up, uh, one. Two mate shot him, and I finished him off. And three goes into the IS-7. Now I'm reloading. That drum, obviously, I'm basically minus, like, 400 damage because I had to use one to kill, like, a 42 HP Yag Tiger. Anyways, E3 is there. And this is what you can do with the pike of the hole. You can bounce shots from an E3. One, two. I'll gladly take one from the I-7, though. Hit me in the track or through the drive wheel. It's definitely hip, a uh, hit point trade in my favor. Three shots, 400 alpha damage each. With uh, one shot from an I-7 being taken in return. I'd say that was a pretty good damage trade-off for me. Looking for a shot, not getting one. My platoon mates, wait, and there he goes. He done died. He uh, was far too ambitious with his uh, endeavors. But I was hoping the butts were sticking out there. Didn't happen. And I'm going to go have a bit of a fail for a drum. That one bounced off his ass. That one went, went into his track. And then, there we go. Damaged him once. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of a fail. But uh, damage trade was slightly not in my favor. Not too terribly bad. But uh, would definitely have welcomed killing that IS-7 instead of bouncing off his rear twice. But uh, this 183 that I have over here is probably keeping me alive. Because uh, this I-7 is more focused on him. Shot him twice. This I-7 is coming down. I just killed his platoon mate. He's not happy. But that 183 I have there is the deterrent that keeps me alive. Instead of that I-7 coming around to plant another one in me. Or two more into me. The 183 is there pointing his gun at him. And he wants none of that. So now I can go around. Have the I-7 miss me. And then put a shell on him there. There we go. Looking at the E3. He gets slaughtered by the 183. 183 did good. He got four kills. Good top gun for him. 5,000 damage though. Holy crap. That, that made it look easy. In a 50 Bravo. Because you do your damage so quickly. Like in most tanks, like with the normal slow reload, you go boom, and then you just do a big old amount of damage. But uh, with this tank, you just kind of just you have to shoot a lot. But it's got that long reload, so those long pauses, it's you have more long pauses than a uh, just a normal single shot tank. Uh, because it's like I think the 183's got like an 18 second reload, and the clip reload of this is like. 23 or 24 so you're still waiting longer than a 183 but uh you're doing about the same amount of damage if he's shooting hesh so it doesn't feel like you're doing a lot of damage because of the long pauses and uh, you don't see those big old damage numbers just like the one shot boom 1500 you don't see that and so it just doesn't feel like you're doing a whole lot uh, but you you are trust me this thing is a beast Anyways, this is M16's World of Tanks Blitz replays. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.